actually. But... Some evidence. Hello and welcome back guys. It's another day, another adventure. And today I'm following up on another Kenneth Anderson's adventure. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I followed up on one of his stories. And today I'm uh, following up on a story from his book, This is the Jungle, from uh, the year 1964. And the story of that I'm planning to cover today is The Lonely Panther of Kupaguda Hills. So, before I continue, just check out the view all around, guys. Fantastic. If you're wondering where I am, I'm actually at the outskirts of Ramnagara and uh, near a village called as Achalu. So it should not be confused with uh, Achalu Betta near uh, Kanakpura. Uh, even I, I had not heard of this place because I was checking on maps I f found out this place It actually seems to be a rock climbers uh, paradise as well there, there seems to be a few people actually I saw a few people doing rock climbing here They're just starting out now I came a little late here today uh, It's 9 o'clock here and I see a few rock climbers starting off So it's a, a phenomenal beautiful place fantastic A perfect place I thought to start our vlog on uh, Kenneth's adventure. In fact, this story is about his son's adventure, Donald Anderson. Donald was actually infamous for having shot around 70 leopards in and around Ramnagara, wherein um, uh, within a my, within a distance of around 10 miles from Ramnagara. If you see all everywhere, you can see a lot of hilly outcrops like what we see here and uh, thick scrub jungles. So it is perfect habitat for leopards and bears. Uh, this place, in fact, both Ramnagara and Kanakpura. If people needed assistance to get rid of a predator, they were actually looking out for Donald as well, um, because he was quite familiar in this area. So one fine day, uh, Donald's shikari, um, so shikari was actually sort of a guide actually that uh, both even Kenneth used to have uh, in trying to, I mean, they were needed to follow up on kills, set up machans, help out um, the, uh, the hunters in the field. So, like uh, Kenneth had Baira as a shikari, Donald also had a few of them uh, as his shikaris. So, he had one shikari in this area of Ramnagara and his name was Chaudhary. And Chaudhary turned up at Donald's house one morning and uh, <clears throat> he brought the news that a calf had been killed near a village called as Kailanch. So, it's actually called as Kailancha, the owner of the calf had sent out Chaudhary to get Donald so that he can come and help in getting rid of the leopard. Now before I continue, my very first challenge was to try and even find out this village of Kailanch, Kailancha as I said. So he, all he had said was it was six miles east of the village uh, Kanakpura. But you know, if you start searching six miles east of Kanakpura, it's very difficult to find a village called as Kailanch. Uh, as they have uh, written in the book. So even if you Google it, you don't directly get it. So I had to literally scan through the maps in trying to identify uh, the village. However, one additional clue that Donald had given helped me because he did mention that uh, this village was close to the road from Ramanagara to uh, the village of uh, Kanakpura. So I knew that this village should somewhere be next to this road which goes from um, Ramnagara to Kanakpura. So I immediately started searching along this road from Ramnagara to Kanakpura. And yeah, I got lucky and I was able to find out uh, this village. From this place, Achalu, Kailancha is another 5-6 kilometers I guess ahead. So that's where I'm headed next. So returning back to the story, Donald actually along with Chaudhary, he arrived at this village of Kailancha. And they went to check out on the kill. There was nothing much left of the kill. Uh, the leopard had eaten almost everything. But they still thought, let them uh, wait for that night. So there was no nearby trees to set up a, a machan. So they actually, uh, there was a lot of lantana growing everywhere. So he thought uh, of setting up this um, sort of a hide 
in that lantana bush itself donald and the choudhury uh, they set up a hide uh, in that vicinity within that lantana bush and he sat there and as he sat there he, they were you know listening to a lot of bird calls like we are hearing now so there were a lot of uh, bulbul and uh, seven sisters calls uh, that he was hearing as donald was sitting there by around 5:20 in the evening he heard some commotion among the birds as if they were uh, you know sort of scared so he thought maybe yeah, maybe the leopard is coming uh, from behind the bushes in front of him and then after a while he again heard similar disturbance from the birds behind him so he was surprised okay a little while ago he heard it in front of him and then now here he is hearing it from behind him but nevertheless when he actually looked back to the front again he saw a young a female leopard standing in front of the uh, calf that it had killed the previous day and it was watching in donald's direction and donald froze for a second he didn't move so he remained absolutely silent and he got a chance when the leopard actually momentarily looked away from him and that's when he picked up his rifle aimed at the leopard took a shot and uh, the leopard immediately fell down twitched and it was dead but then that's how the story starts because immediately after that he heard a loud growls coming from behind him and uh, something jumped on the very lantana bush under which he was hiding and at that time he realized there was another leopard behind him so that's the reason the, there was uh, this um, bird calls coming from even behind him so the leopard actually jumped on the lantana and was trying to attack him actually the weight of the leopard falling on the lantern and in turn falling on donald actually you know pushed him down he could not even uh, get upright himself and at that time the only thing he could do was he shouted out very loudly and he actually you know pressed the trigger of his rifle which was even still then lay- laying on his uh, folded legs he just shot twice uh, to the ground nearby and that was enough uh, for the leopard to leave and it it was gone so he eventually cautiously came out of the hide then saw there was only the dead female leopard of the other leopard there was no signs it was gone a little while later when he actually arrived back uh, with choudhury to check on the female leopard he saw maybe the other leopard had come and you know licked the skin of the female leopard uh, maybe in an attempt to try to get it up and uh, another heartbreaking thing was this female when they skinned it there were three fully grown cubs within its tummy so that's how they realized uh, donald actually repented killing that uh, female leopard because it had unborn young ones uh, in it now after this incident the mate of that leopard uh, actually was uh, heard calling near the village for um, quite a few times and uh, after exactly 3 days there was another a cow which was killed by uh, the leopard and again choudhury was at donald's uh, doorstep and he requested him to join him um, to uh, to the village of kailancha so that's how donald came again to the village of kailancha in an attempt to try and get rid of the other leopard speaking of leopards this region right behind me is definitely definitely hot spot of leopards and bears I definitely want to explore this place a little 
more in detail but maybe on another day now it's time for me to get back on the road and head towards Kailancha so and um, to get to this place itself was quite an adventure because it had rained yesterday and uh, the a part of the road is extremely skiddy luckily I was able to make it to this place because of uh, the rock climbers who have come they have come in cars uh, it's actually you know the, the track has become even more muckier because of those cars which have come in that road so, yeah let's get going to the village of Kailancha and uh, I also need to try and find that hill that is called named as Kupa Guda so let's see It looks like a very simple track but uh, the rear is kidding all over the place <laughs> and this is nothing there are a few very difficult sections ahead <laughs> I feel like I'm riding on ice actually. You need button tires uh, to be riding on such surface. Okay, these are the cars. I think some uh, there is some organization which conducts um, rock climbing here because they had come with gear and all and stuff. Now this is the second level of difficulty. <laughs> Because these cars came, it has become even more difficult. You got to go very, very slowly here. Oh. Look at how the track has become. Second tough section done, I guess. There's one more tougher one ahead. Oh, slow and steady. Ah, this. Oops. Oh. Made it. Made it through that section. I was super scared in this section actually because if the bike falls that's it it's over how to even pick it up now with that done time to head towards Kailanch village alright so I'm back to the main road here this is the main road which goes from Ramnagara to Kanakpura now this is the village of Kunagal and uh, what you can see on my left over there that's the Kunagal Betta So I've climbed Kunagal Betta in little over a year back I'll put up a link for that over here if you want to check it out Alright guys I've come to this village of Kailancha Okay, let me head a little further so you can see it's just the main village is to the right of this okay that's Kailancha and that's where that's the village what I need to try and find out there has to be this uh, hill of Kupa Guda Yure, ili Kupa Guda and Betta idea Kupa Guda and Betta idea Ah, good deal. Here, not today. Kupe good day. Ah, they are the Alinde can't see a lazalva. Hatboda, the Hingo, the Kupe good day. Ah, here, not today. Kupe good day. Ah, Aligo, the ah. Okay, thanks. Okay, it's written as Kupa Guda 
but it here seems locally it's called as Kuppe Gudde. Okay. Now he said there is a high school here and uh, from that I need to take a left. There is a temple here. Hey, Kuppe Gudde, where are you Kuppe Gudde, where are you going? Is it the main road? Kuppe Gudde, where are you going? Where are ಹಾಂ <laughs> 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 ರೇವಣ್ ಸಿದ್ದೇಶ್ವರ ಬೆಟ್ಟ ಸರಿ 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 ಇವ್ರೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಬಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈ ಆಸ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಕುಪ್ಪೆ ಗುಡ್ಡೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಇಸ್ ರೆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು seems to be another off road i thought i initially thought the route to this hill should be from the main road uh, but it looks like there must be a route here uh, from the village itself ah uh, is this the one I think this is how far the vehicle will go. Let me see if there's any other place. This place is pretty wild even now. <laughs> 